Hello, dear friends. Opinion article. New quantum milestone. China's achieved quantum supremacy. China unveils the world's most powerful machine. It is a highly advanced quantum computer called Tsungchongzi. Overtakes IBM and Google in quantum race with most powerful computer. Swiss physicists succeed in levitating a small glass sphere in the quantum vacuum. Let's start. New milestone in quantum computing. Chinese researchers have unveiled a super advanced 66 qubit quantum supercomputer called Tsungchochi, which by one major metric is the most powerful machine seen to date, according to Swiss financial consultancy Forster Swiss. A research team at the University of Science and Technology of China in Shanghai has developed a quantum computer that completes a calculation that would take more than eight years to solve on a traditional computer in just over an hour. With this intervention, China once again surpasses Google's 2019 superconducting qubits that require a current flow for the calculation, according to Raquel Hidalgo. The first time a Chinese team overtook Google's model was in 2020 when they used photonic qubits that rely on light and operate faster. This Asia milestone was led by Yang Weipang, the same researcher who now leads the new study. Throughout these two researchers, China has shown in the last two years that it leads the way in quantum computing overtaking Google in the development of his technology. According to Jesus Diaz, a team of engineers at the University of Science and Technology of China claims to have achieved the most powerful quantum computer on the planet. According to their proof, the Chinese computer solved in just over an hour a problem that the world's most powerful traditional supercomputer would have taken eight years to solve. And this is just the beginning, they claim. According to Kaike Lima, the researchers have revealed that the Tsungchongzi quantum supercomputer has set a new milestone in quantum computing, cementing itself as the most powerful machine of its kind ever created. Now the Chinese computer has completed a designated benchmark task in approximately 70 minutes. By way of comparison, classical supercomputers take at least eight years. With these results, Tsung Chong Tsi can claim quantum supremacy, a state of quantum computing that indicates that the machine can complete tasks beyond what the best classical computers are capable of. This title is unprecedented but extremely rare to achieve. Quantum supremacy is a state in quantum computer that indicates that the machine can complete tasks beyond what the best classical computers are capable of. The programmable high-precision quantum computing platforms opens a new door to explore new phenomena and apply complex quantum algorithms. Thung Church's performance is impressive. It is capable of finishing a designating quantum task in about 70 minutes. Its creators claim that the world's most powerful classical non-quantum subject computer to date would need around 80 years to go through the same set of calculations. Su Chongzi was the name of a Chinese mathematician and astronomer who lived and served the South Liu Song and South Qi dynasties. He was born in 429 in Yang Kang. His family was historically linked to astronomical research, and from his childhood he was in contact with mathematicians and astronomers. Already at a young age he became a very famous for his talent. Short news. China successfully completes first flight test 
of reusable suborbital vehicle, which can land like an airplane. China on Friday successfully completed the first flight test of a reusable suborbital vehicle. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, which developed the craft, announced. The vehicle was launched from the Yuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China and completed its maiden flight on a schedule after landing horizontally and stably at an airport in the Inner Mongolia region, the agency said. China threatens frontal counterattack after US imposes new sanctions over Hong Kong's situation. China votes Saturday to respond frontal after the US imposed sanction, sanctions against, against several Chinese officials over the situation in Hong Kong. Europe. Physicists levitated tiny glass sphere in the quantum vacuum. At 100 nanometers in diameter, the ball seemed too large to be governed by the laws of quantum mechanics, but the researchers still managed to, unsuccess to successfully complete their experiment. Researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, Switzerland, succeeded in levitating a small grass sphere in a vacuum cooled to minus 269 degrees Celsius in a powerful electromagnetic field and under a laser beam. That toll rises to 160 from severe flooding in Germany as torrential rains spread to other parts of the country. The number of confirmed deaths linked to torrential rains and severe flooding in Germany has risen to 160 local authorities said Sunday, cited by Bild. The storm killed at least 112 people in the Rhineland Palatinate, while at least 46 people died in North Rhine, Westphalia, both in the west of the country. More than 100,000 French protest. Some 114,000 people have demonstrated across France to denounce what they see as government intrusion into their private lives. The protesters were in response to the launch of mandatory certificates and plans. America. Navy explosive test of, of off Florida coast triggers 3.9 magnitude quake. The geophysical excuse me, the Geological Survey reported the 3.9 magnitude tremor Friday following the Navy's second crash test for the USS Gerald Ford, a $13 billion warship and the latest aircraft barrier to be introduced into the US fleet. The explosion was detonated at about 100 miles off Flagger Beach in Florida. The Cuban regime shows its muscle with a massive demonstration. The Cuban government has shown its, mas its muscle by calling for a massive rally, rally in response to the protest against it, against it spontaneously staged by thousands of people almost a week ago in several cities of the country. It has done so with a massive demonstration in Havana, which has counted with the presence of Raul Castro. Bolsonaro is discharged after four days in hospital. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro was discharged Sunday morning after four days in the Villanova Star Hospital in Sao Paulo due to an intestinal obstruction. Bitcoin stabilizes, but we don't know if it will soar again. The price of Bitcoin is clearly below its all-time high. It has been trading for several weeks in roughly the same range. Since the end of May, the currency has mainly stagnated between $30,000 and $42,000, and no one knows for sure whether it will rise again. Curious. Young salmon go berserk in German fish farm 
after cocaine intoxication. The fish showed a typical behavior, trying to jump out of the water in panic, prompting an investigation by local environmental authorities. A team of researchers has discovered that, that the strange behavior detected in young salmon in a fish hatchery in the German region of Sauerland may have a curious cause. Traces of cocaine and a cocaine degradation product were found in one of the tributary streams. The State Environmental Agency of the Federal State of North Rhine-Westphalia reported. Anti-sex beds designed for Tokyo Olympics athletes. Organizers of the Tokyo Olympics appear to have chosen a rather innocent way to prevent athletes from having sex in the midst of the health crisis. They will install cardboard beds in their rooms that only hold 200 kilos, as if sex is only practiced in bed. A total 18,000 ecological and recyclable beds will be distributed in the 3,800 rooms where the participants of the important sporting event will be accommodated. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.